Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video and today we're going to be doing some Regency baking. So I have here a book called Tea with Jane Austen by Penn Vogler, which um, I have used a little bit before and contains lots of fun recipes which are um, inspired by Jane Austen's novels and letters. So it is sort of like afternoon tea things, um, baking recipes that are of things that Jane Austen mentions in her letters or her books, um, and the recipes are sort of adapted recipes from 18th and early 19th century recipes um, with occasional sort of adaptations for, for modern cooking. Um, but I've made a couple of recipes from this before and they were really good and I think I'm going to make a new one today as it is Jane Austen July. And I think what I'm going to try and make is um, some bath buns because I assume these originate from bath and I like bath. Um, I think I probably have eaten these before maybe in bath, I'm not sure. But I'm going to try and make them myself, they look quite nice. I think they're basically kind of rolls with um, a sort of sugar glaze on top. Um, and yeah, they look pretty nice, um, so I'm going to give them a go. Um, it looks like the recipe won't be too hard, but they do need to sit and prove for a while, but that's okay. So yeah, let's give bath buns a try. Hello again, so um, I have finished my baking for the day, my Regency baking, and I've tried the bath buns, which are pretty good. Um, I like the glaze a lot. I wonder if they would be good with like jam. I might try and get some jam this week and have some of them with jam because they are... I was going to try them with butter, but actually yeah, they're a bit too sweet to have butter on because they've got like a sugary glaze on top, which is really, really nice. But I feel like they could do with something on them. So I think maybe jam would be the way to go. But they are really nice. I have been eating them plain and they're quite nice, but I probably couldn't eat 12 of them plain. I'm enjoying my bath buns with a cup of tea. Um, and the tea that I'm drinking is um, a tea called Diamond Black, which is from a company called Brew Tea. Um, so I'll leave more information down below in, in the description about Brew Tea and I'll talk about them in the vlog that I'm filming at the moment, which probably go up after this as well. Um, but Brew Tea got in touch with me and asked if they could send me some of their tea. Um, and they do really nice teas so far. I'm really enjoying um, the black tea, which I've tried. And then I've also got um, a green tea and a white tea, which I'm gonna try as well. And they've also given me a discount code and an affiliate link. So if anyone fancies some um, really nice tea, then if you use the link down below and the discount code uh, books and things, then you can get 15% off and I'll get 15% commission. And it's really good tea, so I definitely would recommend. So pretty successful Regency baking today. I feel like the bath buns are not quite as nice as um, 
the biscuity things I made last year, which I have now forgotten the name of, um, but they were really nice. Um, I think, I don't know whether that is the recipe or whether that is um, my baking because I make biscuits all the time, but I don't make bread um, or sort of like yeasty things very often. I still quite like them, but I feel like last year's Redditch baking was more successful, um, but there we go. I think that was probably all for today, so I'm gonna wrap up the video. Um, let me know how your Jane Austen July is going. Have you ever tried to do some baking with odd recipes? It's really fun, and I definitely recommend it. And yeah, that's all for now. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll be back very soon with another bookish video.